Slowly, slowly. There's some people in here. You need a miracle in your life. You need a breakthrough in your life. Let's press into our worship today like we need something desperately from Jesus. Let's press into our praise today like we need something desperately from Jesus. Do I have anybody in this room where your back was against the wall and you didn't know how you was going to make it and how you were going to get out just in the nick of time? Jesus stepped right in just in the nick of time. If he's been an on-time God in your life, I need you to lift your hands and release your worship because he always makes a way. He's always made a way. Come on, somebody raise up your worship. I need you to open up your mouth and lift up your worship in this room. You make a way. When my back was against the wall and it looked as if it was stolen, you come on, man. And we're standing here only because you made a way. I don't know how, but you did it. Say it again. Don't know how, but you did it. Anybody got a testimony? Don't know how. Don't know how, but you did it. Somebody ought to just think back and say, don't know how. Don't know how, but you did it. Raise it one more time. Said, I don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. You step right in just in the nick of time. Don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. Come on, raise it real loud. You got two more times. Say, don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. Shalom, 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 shalom. God bless you. This is Fanti of Agape Mission Center, our nine day of 40 days fasting. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Our nine day, our nine day of 40 days, beloved. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you for you that is connecting in time. We thank God for your life. Share the link, share the link, share the link. As we stand in here, only to know that God has made the way. So, beloved, you share the link. Hallelujah. Share the link. Bless you. Bless all of you that are connecting. I'm here with uh, the senior pastor of Fountain of Agape Permission Center, Pastor Daniel, and also our dear sister, Eriketa. We are here together in this platform. Hallelujah. To pray. Hallelujah. We are here to pray with our sister, Eriketa. We are all together here to intercede hallelujah and also to pray in the name of jesus christ hallelujah beloved you share the link you share the link share the link welcome to fountain of agape tv amen fountain of agape tv you got all our contact on the phone take the telephone number 
so that after this you can you can get in contact with us and we're going to pray together if you have a, a a specific prayer topic that you don't want anyone to know you know confidentiality we are going to pray together amen just take our phone number on the screen where you are watching take our phone number on the screen and they began to share the link you are welcome to this uh, wonderful uh, channel of tv god bless you beloved we say we are going to pray every day from monday to saturday we are going to pray every day that's what we say we are going to pray every day from monday to saturday monday and evening only on sunday that we're going to be in our altar hallelujah if it pleases god we can also connect but we and we don't want to connect on sunday but monday to saturday monday every morning the power of prayer and evening why are we praying every day from monday to saturday because we are on fasting we don't we say we are not doing hunger strike we are not on hunger strike beloved we are not on hunger strike that's why we are on this platform every morning every evening monday to saturday to pray together hallelujah so that we can be Connected with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Bien aimé, bonsoir. Um, nous sommes bienvenus à, à ce plafond des Fountain of Agape et, et, et Télévision. Nous sommes dans 40 jours de jeûne et voici notre neuvième jour de jeûne. Hallelujah. Si tu n'as pas, si dans ton église, tu n'as pas encore expérimenté uh, ce, ce jour de jeûne, nous prions que tu, tu peux nous joindre. Si tu peux, tu peux nous joindre, mais reste dans ton église pour que tu puisses voir la puissance de Dieu dans la manifestation et la manifestation du Saint-Esprit dans notre vie et dans ta vie. Hallelujah. Bienvenue, bienvenue, toi qui nous regardes et que tu nous regardes de loin, du, du Cameroun, de la Côte d'Ivoire, du Sénégal, de, de l'Inde, de partout de l'Asie, de, des États-Unis, de l'Europe, nous prions, nous, nous te remercions. Nous sommes infiniment reconnaissants parce que tu dois être connecté. Tu et ta vie ne sera pas la même. Bien aimé, ta vie ne sera plus la même. Yes, your life will never, never be the same again when you go through this 40 day. As I said, it's not uh, an option. It's, uh, it is a wolf, willful desire that God, Jesus Christ said, if it is a necessity, hallelujah, for us to grow in the spirit, Jesus Christ showed us an example. If we are the disciple of Jesus, he just has called us, hallelujah, bien, hallelujah, what offered, welcome, welcome, offered, welcome. Oh, hallelujah. May the light of God shine in all for where you are. May the light of God shine, my daughter. May the light of God shine. Hallelujah. I hope you are following us in this wonderful fasting. As you know, that it is our custom. Every January, we fast 21 days. But this year, because we need different, we need to go in a different way. Hallelujah. We need to go in another dimension, beloved. Because when you are a Christian, you began only in that same level, same level. You will never grow. But this time, we are going to another level. That's why we took God. Holy Spirit revealed to us, as we say, it is a year of explosive increase. So we need to bring heaven down. Hallelujah. We need to bring heaven down. Glory be to God. Welcome, beloved. Welcome, my daughter. God bless you. Share the link to all your sisters. Share the link to everyone so that they can connect. As we say, we are praying from Monday to Saturday, Monday and evening. It's not easy, but you can do it again. And do it hallelujah god cannot tell us to do something which he has not given us the grace to do it right at the end glory be to god the holy spirit is not by power it is not by mind but it is by the spirit of god says the lord zachariah chapter 4 verse 6 it is not by power it is not by mind but it is by the spirit hallelujah we are going to pray from monday to Saturday, Monday and evening. I know you say, oh, it's too much. It's not too much because you got, <laughs> hallelujah, 40, 40 days, 365 days minus 40 days. The rest of the day belongs to you. Amen. The rest of the day means that you still have 325 days. If you want to be fast every day, fasting every time, that's good, hallelujah. Bonus, bonus, noche. 
Do you know, no, the man of God is not on this platform, but he's beside <laughs> me. Hallelujah. And our dear sister, Eriketa, we are together. We pray together. And we want the Holy Spirit to work. Hallelujah. And we will urge you, beloved, to share the link. As you know, I'm Apostle Delphine, and the senior pastor of Phantom of Agape Mission is Pastor Daniel. Hallelujah. He, he, he was there. He was in this platform in the morning. And we are still saying the same thing. We are still, the Holy Spirit is leading us, beloved. Do not be distracted this time of fasting. Do not last week we fight we, we prayed on Saturday, Monday and evening. Do not be distracted. It should not be do not be distracted because God is taking you to another level. God is taking you, taking us together to another level. The Lord is taking us. No one will stay behind, beloved. When you read the book of Exodus, the Bible says. Moses came out with all the Israelites. No one stayed behind. Nobody stayed behind. Even those that they follow. Hallelujah. Everyone came out from Egypt. From Egypt. Hallelujah. All of us, we are crossing together to that promised land. Pray that prayer. That I'm crossing together. We are crossing together. No one is going to stay behind. That's why we have proclaimed this fasting of 40 days. Because we want our life to turn around. Beloved, we are fed up of religion Christian. We are fed up of uh, 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 religious uh, uh, Christian. Those that doesn't move an inch. You know, they bring us backward. The ministry can go forward because there are some elements in the church that don't want to go forward. And this is making us to go backward. But this year, if you want to run with the vision of the kingdom, you need to rush into the boat. Rika Sakara in Abaka Soko. Yes, we need to jump into the boat. When Jesus Christ was telling Jesus, let us go to the other side. He was not calling people's name. He just said, let us go to the other side. Where there is where there is a need, where there is a need of the people. Beloved, these 40 days fasting days, not day and night. Not day and night. If you read the book of Exodus 34, the Bible says Moses fasted day and night, but we are just fasting only in the day. By 6.30, we are breaking our fasting. Those are going on soup and juice on this and that. They will be. They can eat all two at a time. But Moses fasted only day and night. We are just fasting day. So you must be grateful. Hallelujah. Jesus fasted with water day and night. And that's why he claimed it, proclaimed it in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. He said, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word. Say every word. Say every word that proceed from the mouth of God. That's why you are living. That's why I'm living. The word that God has spoken. Hallelujah. Pray that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for those that are connecting. I pray for this prayer. Wonderful time, oh Lord. We I pray that those oil of us that are connecting, oh Father, we pray that we'll be in one mind. We pray that we'll be united in one spirit. We pray that Lord, we're gonna we're not gonna stop on the way in the name of Jesus, that the Holy Spirit will take us, will lead us, will direct us as a body of Christ, as a church, as a family, that we're going to go move forward. No one will remain behind. We're going to go together, hallelujah, to achieve the purpose of which you have called us to do in this land, in our ministry, in our nation, in our life, in the mighty name of the beloved. We have to mark our generation. We have to mark our generation. There must be a turnaround in your life. There must be a turnaround in your spiritual life in the mighty name of you. I don't want to hear Last next year, I'm still the same. The word I used to speak last year, you still are still you are still speaking the same words this year. No, your language need to change. Your way of speaking need to change. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God for yourself. Your language need to change. Say my language must change. My language must change. Hallelujah. My language must change because we have the Holy Spirit in us. We got the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will change the way we speak. The Holy Spirit will change the way we talk. The Holy Spirit will change the way we reason. That's why the man of God read in the book of Isaiah 11. Hallelujah. That the Holy Spirit will give you the spirit of understanding, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge. I am a sake. He will give you five or seven different spirits that is going to come upon you so that you will be effective, effective, 
effective in the things that the Lord has called you to do. When you don't have wisdom, you'll never be effective. You will answer people anyhow. <laughs> wisdom from above will come upon your life. Pray that prayer. I need wisdom. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. I need wisdom. 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 That's why we go into fasting. God will remove what He wants to remove. He will replace the thing that He wants to praise. He will add what He wants to add. He will transform us into the likeness of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. My language must change. Yes, man of God. Your language, our language language must change. Our ears will be uh, very, very attentive to listen to the word of God. Our eyes will be anointed to see, hallelujah, to see where God is taking us. Amen. Hallelujah. During these 40 days, our language must change, beloved. Our language must change. Our language must change. Yes, my Lord God said, my language must change. Put something. Put the word. When you put it, that's what I'm going to say. My language must change. My language must change. In the name of Jesus, in my generation, you know when your language change, when you speak, they say, what a wise, what a wise person. Oh, people will love you because the way you will be speaking, the way you will be saying things, oh my God, wisdom will flow from above. You will be saying things, hallelujah, not because you are strong, but because of Holy Spirit be, will be putting words in your mouth, hallelujah, because of the way you'll be interacting with people, hallelujah, our language will change in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that's why we are fasting for be in the transfer to be transformed. Listen to what Jesus Christ was saying. When the question they were asking Jesus, it was not even arrogant. It was not disrespectful, even though he knew that the people, the question they were asking was a trap, but the way he was speaking. Hallelujah. He was speaking with wisdom. Pray that prayer. Father, let my language change. I want my language to change. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I go through this fasting, Lord, bombard me. Empower me with your divine wisdom. Empower me with your divine wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus. Throughout this fasting, I don't want to remain the same anymore. I pray that you give me understanding. I pray that you give me understanding in the name of Jesus. My prayer for you is that God will refill you. The Lord will bombard you. The Lord will anoint you. Hallelujah. Anointing of God upon your life will grow. Hallelujah. Listen, the five virgin, the ten virgin, five were wise, another five they were foolish because they didn't have wisdom to top up the oil until the master comes. I pray that your oil will never lack. Your oil on the, in that lamb will never, it will never decrease. It will never diminish. That oil, that oil, that oil will always be top. Why? Because you'll be wise. Because you'll be wise. You'll not be begging people. Uh, give me, like, give me, uh, give me your own oil. That's a foolish one. They knew very well that the master will come. They knew very well, but they decided to be negligent. They decided that they are not going to have the spare all. That's what is happening in the church today. We know very well that we are online. We know. But we just decided not to be there. I pray this evening. Hallelujah. That's lack of wisdom. Lack of wisdom. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, I pray that all of us in front of Agape Mission Center, you will take all of us, all of us, because it's a journey like Ezra. Ezra said, what am I going to tell the king? No, I will not go and beg soldier from the king because I know that my God can provide. I know that my God will protect us. So today, we are praying that Lord, build a wall of protection around us. Build a wall of protection around my family. We must have wisdom and know what to ask God at the time to ask him. Hallelujah. The whole world is turning upside down. The whole thing only bad report, bad report. Everything is only about, about COVID-19 and barrier. What we need is a wall of protection around us. We need to have wisdom to perceive what is happening now. We need a wall. You, you can be confinement 20, 20 years. 
Even in that your house, the COVID-19 wants to come. If God protection is not, is not upon your life, you'll be still, you'll still be positive. But you can be among the people that are positive, but you'll still be negative. That's the protection I'm talking about. To be among your enemy, but they will not see you. Hallelujah. That's the protection we are talking about. Father, Lord, build a wall of protection around us. Build a wall of protection around us. That's why Papa said the other day, Goshen. Mm. Goshen. Goshen. Hallelujah. The same thing, calamity that was happened, they were all together in Egypt. In, in Egypt. In the same, under the same, uh, under the same heaven, under the same heaven, the same crowd. But it, the disease were, were attacking these other people, but the children of Israel, the disease was not attacking them. It was not even coming near them. Because they were protected. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. They were protected. In the book of Job chapter 1, the passage that pastor read this morning. The book of Job chapter 1. Jesus Christ is Lord. Rika, Sika, Rama, Seke. Open your Bible. We say when you come to this platform, get your Bible, get your pen. Do not take it for granted because you never know what the Holy Spirit will be speaking to you while we are talking. Hallelujah. Because he is the only one that knows our needs. He is the only one. The Holy Spirit knows what is our need. He knows what we need at every minute. So when the word of God comes, you say, ah, Ah, it's my mind. No, ah, this is that. You miss your blessing. Miss it totally. Ah, it's the same thing. Ah, that's why we need wisdom, beloved. That's why we need wisdom. God takes the foolish thing to confirm the, 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 the wise. He always uses the foolish thing. The person that you think can say anything is that person that will say sense. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't never take the word of God for granted. If not, people will not even talk about it anymore. The book of Job chapter 1, verse 1 to 10. Verse 1 to 10. Job was in a meeting. I mean, the Lord was having a meeting with his, with, with, with the Bible says that there was a man in the land of Hughes whose name was Job and he that man was perfect and upright. Perfect and upright. You see his, his, his attitude? He was perfect and he was upright. He was perfect and upright. And one that feared God. He feared God. Hallelujah. And he shunned the evil. He feared God and he shunned the evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there was, and there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. So he had ten children. Ten children. Ten children. When you read it, you will see what Job was having. Job was having. And now, there was a day that the Son of God, verse 6, because we can't read up because we don't have enough time. The verse 6 says, and then now there was a day when the sons of God, you, the sons of God, and came to present themselves before the Lord. Beloved, anytime you are going to present yourself to the Lord, anytime you make up your mind to present the, yourself, hallelujah, to God, hallelujah, and the devil came among them, the devil is always there to accuse. That's why we always pray, Father, forgive us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy for your faithfulness and your compassion. Do not allow the enemy to come and accuse us. Let your mercy speak in our favor. As the Bible says, as the Son of God were coming to present themselves to the Lord, the devil, Satan came. Satan, Satan, the name of Satan means the accuser. The accuser. The accuser. His work is always to look who, what is going to accuse. That's why I say, immediately we say we are connecting. Since last week, we say we are connecting every Monday to Saturday. This ministry, we are together with this world. And the devil came among them. And then the Lord said unto Satan, to the accuser, Whence comest thou? The devil, the Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro. You know, it's a vagabond. It's a vagabond. If you say any Christian that is vagabond, he has a that spirit. 
that demonic spirit in him. So throughout this fasting, if you have that to and fro, going to and fro in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I can't stop and pray this prayer. I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus. I cast that spirit of going to and fro, to and fro, to and fro. Mm -hmm. When you read it, but you need to underline some certain thing by the revelation of the Holy Spirit. He said, my job is to go to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down. What are you doing walking up and down on it? Seeking who I'm going to accuse. <laughs> and then God said, that's fair enough. You are going to have, have you seen, you have you seen, have you seen my servant Job? And the Lord said unto servant, had thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the on earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feared God and shew evil. Then Satan laughed at him. God said, What? <laughs> Job, Job, do I fear you for nothing? Is it for nothing? <laughs> Beloved, we should not allow the enemy to, to begin to speak unnecessary things. Job was, and God told the devil that Job is fearing me not because of He said the devil continues, Satan continues and said, he fear you because you have given your build and age around him and about his house and about all had all what he had. That had blessed his, his the hand, the work of his hand, and the substance is increasing in the land. That's why Job is fearing you. If you take all those things, they will not fear you anymore. Because it's an accuser and it's a liar according to what the Bible says in John 10. 10 Big lie. That the devil is a liar. He comes to do what? To steal. To destroy and to kill. He's a big liar. He was accusing Job. That Job is fearing God because God is as built an age of prayer. I hope it's not our case. During this fasting, we are not here to bribe God. We are not here to push God to do what he doesn't want to do. But we are here to, first of all, have personal relationship with God. We are here to build our relationship with God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And we are here to build our relationship with God. He said in the book of James, draw near to me and I'm going to draw near to you. Beloved, this fasting and prayer is not to bribe God. It's not a hunger strike. It's to seek the face of God. It's to know God more and more. It's to know to have a good relationship with God. If your relationship with the Father has been up and down, as the devil says, it's going up and down, seeking who is going to accuse but the Lord gave him an order. I said, take all those things. But Job will never refuse me. And the word of God stands firm. Job never denied God. Never. Sometimes we come to church when the Lord has blessed us. That's the time. That's the moment we feel that we are running away from that place. The church that has blessed you where you didn't have nothing. The place that you've come where you didn't have nothing. But by the grace of God, by prayers and fasting and exhortation and encouragement, the Lord has blessed you in such a way that you should be a blessing in that ministry. That's the time the devil will tell you that you are so important in that church. When you leave, the church will close. No, the gate of hell shall not prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I pray today that we are not serving God because we need, we, we are bribing God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God has not built an age of protection around you, around me, because there is, we are special. Just because we fear God. Say, Lord, I will fear you. Okay. I'm going to fear you. I will fear you. Hallelujah. Means that you will know the mind of God. Means that you will have a personal relationship. Means that you obey the command of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to obey the commandment of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, King of Glory. I pray for you this evening that as we go throughout this fasting, the Lord will be an edge of protection not only around you, 
But around your family, wherever they are, the Lord will be an edge of protection around you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says intercede. Intercessor are those that build the wall, the wall of protection, because many people, most people are exposed. That wall has been broken. So they are exposed. Hallelujah. God says that I'm looking for an intercessor. I'm just looking for one person that will build a wall of protection. Hallelujah. That's why intercessors, they are those that pray for those that doesn't pray. Koraina Bakaseke. God will be an age of protection around you, around us, in our ministry, in our family, wherever you are going, no one thing that you've been protected by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. God has built an age, a wall of protection around you, around your family, whether they're with you or they're not with you. God has built, he has built an age of protection around you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The devil is roaming. That was the Bible say in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 to 9. He said, be sober, be vigilant, because the devil is rolling as a lion, seeking who is going to devour. He's seeking. That's why he told the Lord, I am moving to and fro. I'm going up and down. The spirit of vagabonds. And that's what's happening today. Some people are just moving to and fro. They know all the churches in Coventry. They know everywhere. Up and down, up and down, up and down. When you read this, you need to start thinking, Lord, deliver me from vagabond. Deliver me from going to and fro without achieving anything. Father, deliver me the mighty name of Jesus. Rika Sakarama Kasoko Raba Seke Ria Bakaseke. Today they will see you in that church. Tomorrow they will see you in that church. Tomorrow they will see you in that church. Before they hear and you've got more than 20 churches and you've never achieved anything. That's the spirit of vagabond. And that spirit is very, very dangerous. And God cursed kind. He gave, say, God, you'll be going up and down, up and down, up and down. Can you say, oh my God, this curse is too much, Lord? Remove it from me. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, you just opened my eye. I'm just speaking by the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Inspiration by the Holy Spirit. I pray that your life, the devil will not be using you up and down, up and down, because that is his work. And 1 Peter chapter 5, verse, 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 verse 8 to 9, confirm it. He said, the devil, Peter said, the devil is walking, he's rolling, he's rolling, he's up and down, rolling like a rolling line, but seeking who is going to devour. Say, he's not going to devour me. Okay. Say, the devil, you are not going to devour yeah, me. Gonna... Lord, give me the spirit of stability. Father, empower me with the spirit of stability. Because the because Job was stable. Because God, Job knew his God. He was stable. Despite all the temptation, the challenges, despite everything, before another thing came, they, they, they were bombarding with so many persecution and Testing that everything, but Job stood firm. He stood firm. He knew he knew whom he has believed. Do you know who your belief? Say, Lord, I never seek it. He stood firm. He stood firm. And the Bible said, God bless at the end. The end of Job was blessed. He was blessed. Mm -hmm. Beloved, your end will be blessed. Mm -hmm. It's not the beginning that matters, it's the end. It's never the beginning. The beginning doesn't matter. It's the end of everything. Say, Lord, you will take me right to the end. That's what I say. Hallelujah. We spoke this. We say, it, say yeah. my story will change. My story will change in the mighty name of Jesus. As we come together to pray all this time from Monday to Saturday, Monday and evening. Hallelujah. We don't want to take those that have set up their time to connect with us for granted. We want you to know one thing that God is in this business. We want you to know one thing that the Lord is taking us to another level. Hallelujah. The Lord is taking us to another level. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to change our generation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you should not be praying a prayer, mechanical prayer, a prayer to bribe God. Because when you put your mind there that this is what I want, this is what I want, say bring all your prayer requests and say, Lord, give me a call to your perfect will. According to your, he knows best what to give to us. He knows best. He knows the right time to give to us. Yes. Help me, Lord, to stand firm. Yes. Help me, Lord, to stand firm in the midst of the waves, in the midst of the storm. 
that I will not deny you. I will not deny you. I will not renounce you. In the that's what the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Daniel Shedda Mensak and Abanago. In the fullness of fire, Shedda Mensak, they never refuse God. They say they are going to he said, look at this fullness. We are going to warm it seven times. They say we don't mind. Our God will save us. Even though he doesn't save me, I will never deny him. Even though God doesn't give me what I want now, that's not the reason of which I will turn my back to God. Yeah. One thing we know that our God is so powerful. It will take us out from this wave. It will remove us out from this fire. It will deliver us and it will save us. But they come to say, even though he doesn't do it, and he must say, I pray this is another level of faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for this, I'm praying for that. Even though you don't give me them, in that time, Lord, I will not deny you. Write it down. I will never deny my God. I will not deny him in the name of Jesus. I will not deny him because he remains God. He will still be God. Yes, Lord, I thank you. I bless you. I give you glory. Start thanking God. Say, Lord, I thank you for your protection. For the age that you build around me. You are my shepherd. You are my Lord. You are my shepherd. You lead me beside the spirit. You lead me beside you lead me in the green in the green field. You lead me beside the still water. Hallelujah. My God, you are my shepherd. He is our shepherd, beloved. What can we say unto, unto God? What can we give him? We can't give him nothing. Only what he wants is our faithfulness to him. Because God will always want to use man on earth to achieve the purpose of which he has planned. God needs you. God needs me. But if you are not willing to do it, it will bring someone better. If I'm not willing to do it, it will bring someone better. Best to carry on with the vision of the kingdom. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I will never deny you, Deacon. I will not. And when you speak it, the devil will hear it. He will say, do you know why? They are serving you because you've given them everything. No. Job proved it wrong to the devil that I'm not serving, I'm not fearing God because I got all these things. I'm having my personal relationship with my creator. Every day is a one that created heaven and earth. Every day. I'm having a personal relationship with you all the time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you. I pray this evening. I pray this evening that you will not abandon the presence of God. Say, I will not abandon the presence of God. I will never leave the presence. The presence of God is not for you to sleep in church every day. No. Be, be, your mind needs to be, your mind, your conscience, no, your subconscious need to know that you are a child of God. And wherever you are walking, God is with you. If God be for us, who can be against us? Your, chef, your subconscious need to know that. That the Lord Almighty is with us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He has built an age of protection. He said, yes, they will gather. They will gather. But it will not be for me. But anytime they gather, hallelujah, you ought, you ought to remind yourself. No weapon fashion against me shall prosper. And any tongue that writes against me, I have the power to condemn it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No weapon. Beloved, God, the God you are serving and the God I'm serving, that God is faithful. That our God is faithful. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Hallelujah. He is faithful. So this fasting that all of us are fasting, if you are really in your spirit, really committed, asking the power of God to lead you to these 40 days. Whatever may be your desire, the desire of your heart, bring the plan to God. If it is the time, no devil can stop it. No principality or powers of God can stop it. Because when the time of God comes, no one can stop it. No person. You may not have the money. You may not have the... the, the, the 
you know, the connection. You may not have the connection because God doesn't work like that. You may not have anybody, but the Lord Almighty, your servant, it will take you right to the end. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You may not have no connection. Yes, God will make sure that you fulfill it. Only if we are obedient. If you are obedient and willing, God is able to do whatever he says he's going to do. If only we are obedient and willing, we shall eat the good fruit mm -hmm. of the land. All these promises is only for you alone. Yes, it's for me alone. It's this for me alone. There are a lot of promises. If you are willing and obedient, you're going to eat the fruit of the land. There is no one, King David said in the book of Psalm, he said, I am young and I am old. I have never seen a righteous begging bread. I have never seen those that serve God truly begging bread. He said, since I was young and now I'm, I'm old, but I've never seen a righteous man begging for bread. Begging, say, I will never beg bread. I will never beg for bread. I will never beg for bread. In the mighty name of Jesus. That, that thing you want to do. You don't even know how to start. But I want to tell you, I want to tell you something. That God is in that business. If God is that business, you are going to make it. You will make it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You will make it in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I will make it this okay. year. Hallelujah. Despite the pandemic, the variant, the COVID-19, let them call the name as they want to call the name. But we got one God, the Jehovah Jireh. He's going to provide. Hallelujah. We've got Jehovah Shabbat. The, 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 the mighty man in battle. He will fight for us in the mighty name of Jesus. we got Adonai. He's the only one. Hallelujah. The almighty father will see us through throughout this journey in the mighty name. If only we are willing and obedient. Hallelujah. Everything we are looking for, God is going to give it for us. We will say, I will not die without achieving the purpose of my life. I'm not going to die. I will surely, surely, surely come. My, my, the purpose of which, the divine purpose of which God has created me, my destiny, hallelujah, my destiny, my destiny, my destiny will not be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God will use you. God can use me. Hallelujah. Even in my, even when you are not, God will make sure he use you. Hallelujah. Don't just doubt him. Don't just doubt. Say, I will not doubt God. I will never doubt God. Hallelujah. Because he's always there. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Everlasting Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The little thing you are doing in the house of God, be faithful doing it. That's how God looks at people. Be faithful doing what you are doing. Just the faithfulness. God is faithful. He said, even though you remain on, on, on faith, I will remain faithful. He is faithful. He's looking for those that we, he wants to use to achieve his purpose on earth. So say, I'm the candidate. Say, I am the, I'm one of the candidates. In the name of Jesus, I am one of the candidates. I am one of the candidates. Hallelujah. I am one of the candidates. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am one of the candidates. Hallelujah. I am one of the candidates. Hallelujah. God, you will use me. Use me in my generation. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Lord, use me. Let me mark my generation. Hallelujah. God, use me. Lead me to my destiny. Yes, it will lead you by my glorious destiny. It will lead us. It will lead us. Hallelujah. See, if you are faithful and obedient, if you are faithful and obedient, Surely you will eat the good fruit of the land. The good, it means there are bad fruit, there are good fruit. You will eat the good fruit of the land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you for what you are doing. Begin to pray that the, 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 the grace, the divine grace of God will come upon your life, you know. During this fasting, the enemy will be speaking. You can eat, you can pray, you can do this, you can do that. You can eat. When you began to think like that, it happened to everyone. You began to destroy your destiny. But you don't know what God wants to do in this time in your life. 
God wants to do something in your life. God wants to do something great in your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. You know, if Rahab was not positioned, she could have missed her destiny. She was a prostitute sitting at the gate at the entrance of a city of Jericho. Jesus Christ is Lord. Sitting there. When, when, when Joshua sent the spies to go and spy Jericho, the book of Joshua chapter 2, sent the spy to go and spy Jericho, but Rahab, because she was very committed, she knew the, the God of Israel. She said, we have heard about your God. I said, many will come and celebrate with you. They will say, we have seen the power of God in your life. We have seen what God is doing in your life. Well, I'm going to follow you to serve that God. Hallelujah. I'm going to follow you to serve that God. And God empower Rahab with wisdom. When they send to arrest those spies, God empower Rahab with wisdom. Rahab said, we have heard about you. We have heard about what your God has done. But one thing I will ask you, are you going to, what are you going to give to me and spare your life? Wisdom from above. Wisdom. I pray that you have wisdom from above. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, we have heard how the Lord dry up the water of the Red Sea. People will come and be telling you, we have heard about what your God is doing in fountain of Agape Mission. We have heard what God is doing. We have heard what the Lord did. We've heard that the Lord took you from Egypt and crossed the Red Sea. What have God done to your life that people can see and begin to serve God? What is the testimony that the Lord has done in your life? That someone can say, I say, I've heard God. I've seen what God is doing. Your God is strong. We are proud of you that you continue serving this God. Despite all the storm, despite everything. The woman that was called prostitute. Enter into the line of Jesus Christ. Read Matthew chapter 1. That woman that was prostitute. Rahab. The spy make a promise to Rahab. Rahab went and gathered all her family. They were not believers, but they were gathered in her room, in her house. Anyone that refused to follow her was destroyed. But everyone gathered all of them. That's why we are fasting together. If you are not fasting together, you are taking it for granted. It is you who know with your God. But God has told us as leaders to proclaim this fast. And he, God knows why he has asked us to do it. And we believe that each and every one we receive deliverance, healing. We receive wisdom, understanding. We move forward if only you obey. If only you obey. The same way the, the spies make promise to Rhea is the same way the Holy Spirit will make a promise to you during this fasting. The Holy Spirit will be bombarding you in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I break every obstacle by faith. I break every obstacle by faith. I'm taking position of my promise in the name of Jesus. Say, I break every obstacle that want to hinder me not to go through, through this 40 days fasting. Mm -hmm. By faith in the mighty name of Jesus, I am taking position of my promise. My promised land. I'm taking position of my promised land. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm taking position of my promised land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I break every obstacle by faith. Hallelujah. And I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking position of this promised land. Hallelujah. Say you shall eat the fruit, the good fruit of the land. Father, let me see the good fruit of this land. Hallelujah. The land that we are in, we should not curse the land. Oh, there is this. Oh, there. We have to 
to bless the land. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 7. Pray for the city that I have brought you in captivity. Pray for that city. Pray for that city. When the city prosper, you will prosper. I got a lady, she came here, she was just cursing this place. I said, stop cursing this city. Bless the city. When it prosper, you will prosper. Yes. Pray that there must be peace in the city. Pray that this pandemic will stop. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't even care. But God cares. Okay. We are hearing 1,000 this, 1,000 this dying. But God is telling you and I to pray. Oh, bless, began to pray for those that are positive. Let began to pray for our family in Europe. We have got sisters in the church that their family are not here with them, but they are in Europe. Let's begin to pray also for our uh, of our friends. That may the Lord be an age of protection. May the blood of Jesus speak. The Bible says Rea brought all her family under her roof. Now we cannot bring them here. But let me tell you, we are sending the word of God according to Psalm 107 verse 20. Not only to heal, but to bring them under the shelter of God. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that our family, whatever may be the sickness, the disease, the infirmity that want to attack them or already have attacked them, we are speaking the word of God in their life. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are speaking the word of God in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Holy Spirit, I bless you. I give you glory, honor, and power. Thank you for the divine grace that you've taken us. Thank you for your blessing upon our life. Hallelujah. That during this time, Lord, our life will not be the same. Jesus Christ said this kind of fast, this kind of demon cannot go only through fasting and prayer. There are some demons that are resistant. The demon of laziness, the demon of lack of prayer, the demon of lack of discipline. Those demons are resistant because they know that they are used to your prayerful, if you are disciplined. Discipline, hallelujah. If you are disciplined, if you fear God, hallelujah. If you fear God and you are determined, God will take you to another level in your destiny. So what the devil is doing is not going to push you to sin, but he's going to bombard your mind, hallelujah. He's going to begin to tell you, putting a lot of things in your mind that, <coughs> that you will not be able to go forward. He said the God of this world has blinded their mind. He didn't say the God of this world makes them to go and sin or to go and lie. Yes, he has blinded their mind. He has blinded the eyes from their mind so that they will not see the truth. So I pray this evening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May your mind be renewed. That's why the Bible says renew our mind. That the Holy Spirit will renew our mind, the book of Romans. That the Holy Spirit will renew our mind every day. It will renew our mind. Pray that prayer. That when we pray, when you fast every day, let the word of God that you are reading will renew your mind. Will renew. You will not be stagnant. That this is what I want to speak. I must speak it. This is what I want to say. No. Because the Holy Spirit will be renewing your mind. The way you grow physically, your spirit also needs to grow all the time. Hallelujah. The way I was thinking last year or last two years, I don't think anymore like that. The things that were disturbing me last two years, no, there is not more that, that situation. Because we need to grow in our spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, I'm going to grow during this fasting. Holy Spirit, help me to grow. He says, not by power, it's not by mind, but it's by the Spirit of God. As the first book that I read, the book of Hallelujah. The book, the book of Ephesians chapter 1. The Bible says the Lord will open our eyes. He will open our eyes. He will renew us so that we'll be growing in the spirit. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Everlasting Father. Renew our spirit, Lord. Renew our mind, Father. We want to grow. We want to do exploit. The Bible says those that know that God will do exploit. They're going to do exploit. They're going to do exploit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm going to do exploit. Say, I will do exploit. Because I know my God. I know my God. I will do exploit. The Bible says Job prayed for his three friends that were accusing him 
Do you know why you are sick? You've done this, you've done that. That's why you are sick. And this. God, God told Job, forgive them. Forgive them and pray for them. And Job did what God told him. And the Bible said, God bless Job more than what he had before. Twice more than what he has before. Just count all what Job had before. And pray this. You will not settle for little. So I'm not going to settle for little. I will not settle for little. I'm not going to be settled for little thing. I will not settle for little blessing. God has got a lot of blessing to bless you. I will not settle for little. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not settle for little blessing. Hallelujah. God is taking us somewhere. That's why we don't need to be vagabond. We don't need to be vagabond. So I'm not vagabond. <laughs> I will not be vagabond. Because my mind will be renewed every time. Renew your mind, beloved. Renew your mind. He said, be not be conformed to this world. Yes, there are pandemic, there are this, there are that many things. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that it may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. What is good and perfect will? There is a permissive will and there is a perfect will. I will not settle for little blessing. Never, my son, never settle for little blessing. In the name of Jesus, I'm not a vagabond. It's a spirit, beloved. It's a spirit. <laughs> if you don't know, read your Bible. It's a spirit, demonic spirit. And that spirit, his, the origin is the devil himself. When he knows that you are here, God will, bless, he will remove you automatically. Because he has planned it the way your mind is. I will not settle for it. I will not gonna settle for it. Kariya baka sokuriya maka seke rida baseke raba seke rama seke. Hallelujah, Father, I thank you. I give you glory, honor, and power. I pray that God will take you to another level. The Lord Almighty will take you to another level. You will your star will shine during this fasting. Your face will be radiant. Hallelujah. Not only radiant, the wisdom that the Lord will be bombarding you. During your dream, you began to see vision. Hallelujah. Your vision will be clear. It will be clear. Your dreams will be clear to you. Your dreams will be clear in the mighty name. Some of the people, they don't, they don't dream. They don't even have vision. But I pray if you are that kind of person that doesn't have vision, that doesn't dream, my God, I pray that by this 40 days fasting, you began to see vision. Vision. vision is not when you are sleeping. It's when you are praying. Hallelujah. And God began to show you things as if you are seeing in the TV. You began to see vision. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God will open your eyes because you've been protected. Your mind has been protected by the blood of Jesus. No, nothing will be entering into your mind. Not only protecting you, but your mind will be protected. You will not be hearing voices from left and right. You will be focused. Hallelujah. Because your mind is being covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Guys, your mind will be renewed every minute. God will be speaking to you through the word, and you have understanding, hallelujah, and you have wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to God. Thank you, King of Glory. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Father, I bless you. Lord, bless this city. Lord, give wisdom to the front line. Give wisdom to, oh my God, even to the scientists, let them come to you. Give wisdom to the doctors in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, because the whole world is confused. Yes, Lord, we acknowledge that everything is upside down. Papa, darkness has covered the whole earth, but we are your children. We are praying that your light should shine in their mind so that they will begin to seek you and seek the true God, the God of Israel, the God that makes heaven and earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because, Lord, we are standing here, not only for ourselves, pay the price. We are the seed. Say, I'm a seed. Say, I am the seed. I am the seed. The seed to pray for others. The seed that you want to sow something in your prayer. We are all seed. Hallelujah. You are the seed. And you need to sow that seed in prayer. You need to sow that seed in obedience. That seed, that seed. God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son. It is a seed that God gave. That seed, that seed. That whosoever. So if we are that seed, 
It's not for ourselves, it's for the blessing. May through this fasting, may the pipe, hallelujah, be clean, be purified. Why the pipe that you're going to speak, hallelujah. Be clean. One time I was praying, hallelujah, and I was fasting and I was praying. Just getting, getting, get, one lady asked me, why is it that people are not grateful? Why is it? I, the Lord told me immediately that we are the pipe. We are the pipe. That everyone will come and fetch water, not any kind of water, but pure water. Say, I'm a pipe. Through me, people will come and fetch pure water. You see, the Bible is clear. It said, from the abundance of the heart, the mass speaks. It said, you cannot go and harvest guava on the tree of papaya. No. It means whatever thing you, they can see who you are through your words. Glory be to God. Thank you, King of Glory. Rika Saka. I pray that this fasting will not will not make us to go bower, but it will take us forward. I don't want, I don't want that to add we are going through this fasting for 40 days. Hallelujah. Praying and fasting and reading the word. That will be the same. That we're gonna be the same, the same language, the same word, the same mind, the same thinking. No, it will not be our portion. It will never be our portion. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Discipline will come. Determination. Wisdom. Fear of the fear of the Lord. The Bible says it's the beginning of wisdom. Wisdom, understanding, knowledge. We'll be having inspiration, not from any man, Amen. but from the Lord, but from the Holy Spirit alone. In the mighty name of Jesus. Stay blessed, beloved. Tomorrow, if God I've put your heart to be in the altar of God. That's fine. If you want to watch also on future, that's fine. We'll be, be, just connect. Just connect. Just connect. And let's be in one this thing. Because, you know, ask yourself why the government say church worship will continue. Began to, began to think is the prayer of the saint. So if the, if the government is saying worship will continue, <laughs> and then the priest is not opening, it means <laughs> beloved will begin to think otherwise. And they even show it in the TV. They worship the, the, the Catholic church that people were going one to one to go and worship. Because they understood that the hearts of God, man cannot temper with the things of God. So we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ that as children of the Most High, we understand the system of God. We understand the system of above. We understand the, the kingdom, or how the kingdom is functioning and what is happening. I pray that we will not be drifting away by fear. Glory be to God. We will not be taken on away also. May God Strengthen us. May God strengthen. Those that will be watching on, 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 on Facebook Live it will be fine. But if you are home, connect, beloved. Just connect. I told one sister that I stay home. She said, no, I don't want to watch this thing again. But I want to be there. I said, just free. No, no, I want to be there. <laughs> are you not open? I said, no, we'll be there. No, I want to be there as well. So we have to pray. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. I worship you. I praise you. Thank you for all of us that have been connecting. I pray that we're going to stop here for now. Hallelujah. And we're going to stop here. And we're going to stop here and begin to pray. Continue to pray for us. And we pray for one another in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray that tomorrow we're going to be so powerful. Those that will be at home. Hallelujah. Children that will be at home. And the parents will pray that they will be connected. Hallelujah. It's one. It's not just one way traffic, Lord. We have to be, we have to be serious of what we are doing. We have to be serious so that God will bless us. God will deliver our city. God will deliver our nation. Hallelujah. Look at that. Shed and Mesa and Abana go down here. They were carried in captivity. The Bible said there were many of them. Read the book. There were many of them. There were many of them. But four people decided in that in that kingdom of Babylon. They decided to serve the God of heaven, the creature of heaven. And God turned the city upside down. God turned that nation upside down. And the king himself said, We are going to serve the God of Daniel. Mm -hmm. We are praying. That the, the leaders of this country, they're going to be saying, we're going to serve the God 
that created the heaven and earth, that Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're going to serve that God in the mighty name of Jesus because they will see the miracle that God is going to do. They will be seeing miracle. They will see unity in the body of Christ, unity in the spirit, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Bless the men and women of God. Lord, empower us with wisdom. Protect all the men and women of God, the children of God. Protect all our family in the Lord. Wherever they are, guide them and protect them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, daughter. God bless you. Hallelujah. Stay blessed and let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Stay blessed and be tomorrow be connected in the on Facebook Live in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We thank you for today. Hallelujah.